Astro is known for its great DX, and the environmental variable API is no exception. This new experimental feature that's going live with Astro 5 is really nice and easy to use. Not only do you get access to defining if you want something available on the client or the server, you also get full type safety. You can even add little checks, like if it's greater than or less than a certain number or starts with a certain key. And all of this is available by default in Astro's new ENV API. You ready? Let's check it out. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. All right, let's start by looking at what's built in by default. Here I've got Vite's built-in support because Astro is built on top of Vite. It has its same capabilities. So I can go ahead and copy this and let's jump over here. I've got this EMV variable already set up here. Other than that, it's just a base project. You can see that there's something unique already here and that is that we've got secret password and we've got public anywhere. And by default in Vite, if you want something to be available client side, you have to prefix it with the public key here. So anything public underscore whatever is only available on the client. Anything else is only ever server side. So there's some built-in type safety or safety by default. Let's go ahead and come over here to the pages and just see what this looks like. If I jump over here and let's add a little script tag right down here. And in order to import this, you have to use the Vite's import syntax. So this would be import meta.env dot whatever the key name happens to be. So in this case, we have public anybody. And then let's go ahead and just console log this. Now, in this amazing site I have pulled up over here, you can see that down here, it does say there. Now, if I were to try to use the secret key instead, and I save it, you'll see it says undefined because this is client side code. So in order to actually import this secret password, I'd have to do it server side. So one of the things I could do is grab this right here. And since this is only ever run on the server inside of these little code blocks, I could do it here and it would actually output it directly here in the build. Obviously, I'm not going to want to do that, but you can see how since this is done on the server or at build time, you can actually access these keys. Now, obviously, usually you'd access these secret passwords in some kind of API route. So for a more, more realistic example, so we don't expose our key, let's go ahead and do that. So if I come over here, let's just come underneath here. We'll do like API. This needs to be inside the pages directory like that. And then we'll just go ahead and do like get item.json.ts. And then go ahead and output it here. Again, I probably would not want to output my key directly, but just to show you that it can be done actually on server side. So there you go, password one, two, three. Usually you use this to like hit some kind of database or something like that, but now we've got access to both of these. So that's what we can do by default. However, there's some like downsides. For instance, if I come over here, I get no type safety. So I don't know what they're called. I have to actually go look it up. And I should mention there are other things you get by default. Like you can actually put whether or not something is in dev mode or whether it's in production mode. These are all ENV variables you get kind of built in by Vite. So what we're gonna do though, is set it up to where we can access anything in our ENV file using TypeScript. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up this declaration file for TypeScript. Let me jump back over the docs just so I can see what's going on here. You can see that I can set this as a read only and I can pass the actual key names and what value they should be. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna copy all of this and we'll put it right inside here. Now the advantage there is I can come back over here and now I get access to that here as well. Notice I get public anywhere and secret password. So both of those are set. So that's what we currently have. So there's already some niceties built in. However, Astro set it up now to where you can use their Astro colon ENV API. This allows you to configure type safe schema for environmental variables you've set. This allows you to declare for each key where you want it available, server or client, and you can also define the data type structure it is. So notice we need to come over here to our Astro config. So let's go ahead and open that up right here. And then inside here, we're just gonna have an ENV object. Now, actually I should mention before we get going too far that this is an experimental feature. So for right now, what we need to do is come in here to our ENV and we'll do it inside of here. After version five ships, we should be able to do this on the top level. The structure is still the same though, so I'll come in here for my schema, and now I'm just going to register variables. That way I can get type safety built in directly whenever I'm working in Astro. So notice for each of these, we're gonna define a property name, that's the name of the key, and then a bunch of things about it. So let's go ahead and do that. We had public anybody, so let's go ahead and start with that. I'm gonna close down the sidebar just to give us a little bit more room, and then I wanna pull in the ENV field. This should come with Astro config. If it doesn't auto import, you can type it up there. So I'm gonna say that this needs to be a type of string. Now I've got a bunch of things I can declare down here. For instance, I can say what context it needs to be in. So we're gonna say this is client side only. That way I know it's available on the client. As far as my access, I want this to be public, which is the only thing available to me on client side code. And then I have a bunch of other options as well. So I can set up a default. I can say what it ends with, what it includes, the length of it, the max, the min, the optional, what it starts with. That's really helpful if it's a URL. So all these are options I have. So let's say for instance, that starts with, it's always gonna start with something like RE underscore. 
So I actually get built-in type safety even on the actual key that I'm passing in. So if I go ahead and save this and we reload the server, you're going to notice I get an error to start with. Now, the reason I'm getting this is because it expects it to start with something and it's not starting with that. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'll come back over to my E and V. And now I need to start it with RE. So RE underscore, just like that. And now we should be able to restart the server. And now everything works properly. So you get type safety and also some more checks. Let's say, for instance, I said that the min here was something like, I don't know, 20 characters. Now, again, I should have an error because it doesn't meet the minimum standard for public anybody. It won't even let you go into dev mode if you're not matching the schema you set. So that's for a public key. There are some different options if we do a private key. So if you've got our secret password, let's also use the env field. And let's say that this is a number. Now, notice you've got some other options here as well. Boolean, string, all that kind of stuff. So let's say it's a number. We're going to set the context here to server. Now, there are a couple different options for server because sometimes the server code will be included. The env variables will be included in your bundled server code. So you do actually want to set up if you want this to be accessible publicly, that is in your server build code or just secret. In other words, it's just going to be only available on like a dynamic API endpoint or something like that. So we're going to say secret for now. And then notice because this is a number, I've got greater than, integer, less than, all these options that are tied to numbers in particular. So I could say something like it has to be greater than, I don't know, like four. All right, so now we've got a number. We've got some nice type safety here. If I look over at my server, you'll notice I'm still getting this public anywhere problem. So we need to fix that first, I guess, so we can actually see the other problem. So this has to be like at least 20 characters. Then I want to make sure that this is a number now. So now I should actually be passing all these things. Let's just make sure this is working properly now. It's passing all my checks. Now the nice thing here is I'm going to get type safety. Now, just to make sure we're not artificially increasing this, let's get rid of all this typing right here. We don't need this anymore. And I can restart the server one more time. And now I should get access to all that where I need it. So now if I come back up here without manually defining types or doing this import meta env, all this kind of stuff, I can pull in the key directly. Now notice down this way, I've got a few different options. I've got from Astro env server and from Astro env client. So even here, it's super expressive where you're pulling this code in from. So let me go ahead and grab this right here. We're going to come up top. And notice if I come over here and I start to type, I get secret password. And it knows that this is the only one available on the server. So here I can just say that this is my secret password. And then when I go to my API route, which should be up here, it should give me that number. Now the same thing is true for the client. So let's come back over this way. We'll do the same thing. I'll paste that in. And then here I just want the public anybody key. And again, it's typed for me automatically. And now if I come back over this way and we refresh, you'll notice that there's my key. It pulls in right down here. And this is done on the client. Again, this is available right now. And as of Astro 5, once that launches, this will be done at the top level of your config right over here. You won't have to put it inside of Experimental. Just drag it out and it should work for you. Well, Astro's done it again. A great DX, just like you'd expect. I hope this was a helpful tutorial getting started with the ENV API. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.